it doesn't mean when you have a personal style you just have to stick to the style forever and ever but you just have like a go-to style or a few go-to styles that you're known for you can do them easily they make you look good okay <laughs> Finding your personal style when it comes to natural hair. This is a topic that I have not seen at all on the internet. Maybe I haven't looked enough, but as I mature in my natural hair journey, as I share with you guys this transition period, as I lose subscribers because people just don't like to see real things. They want to see, I don't know, the finished product. They're not here for the journey. I am still going to come out here and let you know what I'm learning, share with you guys my experiences and all that because I know it's going to help someone, okay? Um, I truly appreciate people that support this channel, people that encourage me. I am a real person with real feelings and it means the world to me when you guys communicate with me and find value in the things that I share. Personal style, this is something that we see in other cultures. People are able to decide how they want to wear their hair um what color what cut how long you know do i like more updos do i like more you know low bun high bun do i like um gel down hair do i like highlights do i like really really long hair blunt and down scraping my back or down to my bum do i like curls are they waves are they really tight like water waves or just really, really curly. Of course, with highly textured hair, you're looking at, am I a protective styler? Do I like turbans? Do I like hair drops? Do I like cornrows, flat twists? Do I like braids? Do I like afros? Do I like um, straighter hair or heat styled hair? Do I like a silk press? Do I like a braid out that is heat, from a heat stretched, um, you know, hair from heat stretched hair? Do I like a braid out from just washing my hair and straightening to a braid out or a twist out. Do I like African threading? Do I like a French braid? What is it that I like? Of course, you don't have to choose one thing. You can have a few, but it's important for us to decide what is my personal style? And there's a few reasons for this guy. First of all, let's just say here that personal style when it comes to natural hair is just what is your, what are you known for? How, how can, if someone was to draw you, what hair would they have on that drawing? That's the most common, the most usual, the most preferred, your go-to style, right? It's a bit like clothes or having a capsule wardrobe. What's the go-to clothes there when it comes to your everyday wear? Same thing with natural hair. Like what is the go-to style? How do you present in the world on the regular? Why is this important? And I have found that over the years, this is important, or should I say in the last few months, I realized it's more important than I thought, okay, than I realized even. One, it reduces overwhelm, right? You're not overwhelmed. What am I going to do with my hair? What am I going to do? Or feeling pressured to change this stuff, try this other stuff, do the next thing, okay? You're not feeling pressured. That's one. Number two, minimalism. You just, there's something about being calm and very minimal in, in, in your styling options rather than, it's true, okay, Africans, African-Americans, black women, we can do whatever we want with our hair, okay? We can do whatever, use whatever products we want with our hair. But sometimes when there's so much choice with products or styling options, it can feel overwhelming, like almost like you have to do that, okay? So having a minimalistic approach both to products and just your hair can just help simplify your life, just keep you a little bit calm and relaxed about your hair because you know exactly your go-to, okay? If you're pressed for time or you're in a hurry or whatever, you know exactly what you can do very quickly and you're happy um, to organize yourself or present yourself in that manner. Simplicity. Um, I guess it ties in with just having a minimal, stress-free lifestyle, but just a simple routine is really good and easy to help flow you know flow into the daily routine of your life because life is not just about here some of us have got kids family your husband you've got things to look after um so here is just a tiny part of your life you don't want it to be taking so much time you're trying to figure this out style your hair for hours you just have this style these few styles that you know you can go to and easily access and enjoy and feel good you enjoy less breakage less manipulation because your hair gets trained doesn't it to be in that style for example if you do this a lot the hair kind of gets used to 
having this part, you know, and falling this way and that way. That's just the nature of hair. Um, so the hair can be trained or obviously not trained to just stay like that, but it's easier to just repeat the same style um, over and over again. Of course, thinning can happen if you're rough or if you don't switch up your parts, etc. We know all that, but I am just talking about just having a, a, a repeat style that you can go to over and over again. So yeah, personal style can is beneficial in all these ways. And your personal style is um, also important there because um, it gives you confidence. It reflects your personality. It um, allows you to present to the world in a manner that you're proud of, right? You don't want to just do something quickly and see photos and you're like, oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Like you're confident with how you present and you're happy with how you look. So personal style is almost like a part of, of who you are. You know, it's a representation of who you are in some sort. So how do you find that personal style? I think there's a few things to consider when finding your personal style. The first thing is what season are you at in your life? Are you single? Are you college student? Are you a career person? Are you a new mama? Are you a wife? Are you, um, what are you doing? Are you in university? Are you med medical school internship? What season you're in will determine, first of all, what styles you can do and will help you decide what your personal style will, will be because you have an understanding of the happenings around your life. The second thing is how much time you can invest or you want to invest into your hair. If you're studying busy at uni, in the library on weekends, five days a week at uni, and you simply don't, all you want to do is sleep, then you probably don't have a lot of time to be dealing with your hair. So deciding your personal style for that season might actually, you know, need to incorporate something that doesn't take a lot of time, okay? It's also, just note that these styles might change depending on the season where you are, um, but depending on what the style is, it might be able to suffice for all the seasons of your life, you know, just depends. But anyway, how much time can you put in? That's another deciding factor. Preferences. What do I prefer? What do I actually like? <laughs> do I like to see my hair in an updo? I've already spoken at the beginning of the video. Do I like slick down hair? Do I like flowy hair? Do I like kinky twists? Do I like weaves? Do I like wigs? Do I like head wraps? Um, what, what do I like? Do I like locks? what what is it that i like and you might need to actually experiment with a few things to decide what you like maybe take a few photos ask people you know see your family members particularly see what you first enjoy what you're confident in what makes you feel good and of course the next one is what shapes your face it's not something that we speak about a lot but guys what makes your face pop for example for me this style is a winner this style is a winner. Let me tell you, I'll show you some photos when I big chop, big chop my hair. My head is pretty much flat on the back and it kind of has a hump on the top here. So each time I have styles that kind of gather here, I don't really look my best. Sometimes I do, it just depends. But each time I have something that flattens this way and hips up, up at the back, it gives me a bit of balance to my head where I look somewhat normal. <laughs> um, with the style so i know why this style is working because obviously it's humped here and it's shaping my face pulling you know it's you know kind of nice and neat and pulling everything there so that everything's gathering at the back it brings out my facial features obviously you know i don't mind that i like the look i also know that i look very nice in say maybe a braid out or a twist out that is stretched i've done videos with those styles you guys check them out i love them um a slick bun to the back looks nice on me as well. I know that a fringe or a sweep uh, to the front, like a, what do you call them? Like a, like a, a fringe, right? What, what's the other word for the fringe? Bangs, that's right. If you have a little bang here and I tie the back of my head or the back of my hair and have a bun here, that looks good on me for reasons I've already stated. Um, twists look good on me. Twists that are very well done that, you know, are looked after, the freeze is controlled and all that, obviously depending on how I style them, but particularly mini twists, they look really nice on my hair. I know braids are not my thing. I don't necessarily like myself in afros, but I need to experiment that a little bit more. However, another style, which is one of my favorite, is to just bring all my hair up here and just cap it up here. So it's almost like I'm kind of bringing the hair here where the hump is, but 
but if I have the the band kind of ending here kind of conceals the flatness of the back of the head in the hump here if you know what I mean I'll show you some photos and if it cascades to the front I like that as well so there you have it I've got some ideas of what styles look best on me of course I look good in kinky twists um and I've done these I've shared videos on this so there you have it. I've given you some examples of how how I decide what styles work for me and why I like them. If you're someone, say, that's got a receding hairline, for example, I'd really explore bangs, um, headbands, maybe if you need to maybe conceal some hair, obviously look for really gentle material. Another thing that would, like, I know there's some people that feel like, oh, I've got a really big forehead and you want to try to put a fringe on there. Some people want to do that. Um, some people want to, don't like to be bare, okay, where they're pulling all their hair to the back. So they like hair that's kind of falling on their shoulders, which I like as well, actually. When I have my hair in a stretched blow and a stretched braid out, and I have a middle part going this way, that's a beautiful style on me. I really like that one. So there you have it. Those are some ideas with regards to you choosing a personal style. I think I'm at a stage where I am really wanting to explore that. And I wanted to bring this to you to see if it will be helpful to you to also determine where you're at. Some of you guys are already doing this, okay? You're on top of your game and you already knew this. You, you know, you just repeat and rotate. And I did this for a while with the mini twists that I used to retwist as a twisted natural. Um without really knowing but that was my personal style for that time so yeah guys let me know what you think let me know what your personal style or styles are it doesn't mean when you have a personal style you just have to stick to the style forever and ever but you just have like a go-to style or a few go-to styles that you're known for you can do them easily they make you look good okay like you like them you feel confident in and they shape your face very well all right guys until next time it's Kola Darius. Bye. Thank you.